You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Helping Mrs. Howard. Daddy? I'm building a ship in a bottle. Can I help? Hmm. Oops. I'm sorry, Caillou. I know you want to help, but this is very tricky work. You can watch. <sighs> Maybe someone else could use your help today, like Mommy or Rosie. Okay, Daddy. Oops. What are you doing? Can I help? No. Hmm. Bye. You take care, Mrs. Howard. Mrs. Howard! Mommy? Mommy? What happened to Mrs. Howard? She sprained her ankle while going for a walk. It's nothing serious. She just needs to take it easy for a while. Caillou suddenly had a wonderful idea. Mrs. Howard could use my help. That's very nice of you, Caillou. But I can help her with some chores around the house. Well, perhaps Mrs. Howard could use a little help around the house. Let's give her a call and see. Okay. Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Caillou and I were wondering if we could come by and talk to you about something. Oh, wonderful. See you soon. Caillou was very excited at the thought of lending Mrs. Howard a hand. I'm coming. Well, hello there. Now, what is it that I can do for you today, Caillou? I want to help you, Mrs. Howard, with your chores. Is that going to be okay with you, Mrs. Howard? <laughs> oh, of course. It's awfully nice of you to want to lend a hand, Caillou. Come on in. Well, I guess I'll leave you to it. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Mommy. All right. Now, let's see. You could help me water the plants, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oopsie. <gasps> Big oopsie. How's it going, Caillou? I spilled some water, Mrs. Howard. Oh, not to worry. I'll just grab a mop and clean it up. Careful not to slip. <laughs> Oh, my. Here you go, little plants. Drink up. Now what else can I do, Mrs. Howard? Well... Mm, you could do a bit of dusting for me, if you like. Okay. There's a feather duster under the sink. I'll get it for you. No, I can get it, Mrs. Howard. <laughs> oh, that Caillou. What a sweet boy. Was enjoying being such a big help to Mrs. Howard. Ah, oh, that feels better. Bye bye, Dust. Whoops! <gasps> I'm sorry, Mrs. Howard. That's 
okay, Caillou. I'm sure it'll be fine. It really needed a new lampshade anyway. Caillou didn't mean to ruin Mrs. Howard's lampshade. Suddenly, he didn't feel like such a good helper anymore. You know what would be a really big help to me, Caillou? What? It would be great if you could fetch my mail for me from the mailbox. I can do that. Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay, but I dropped your mail, Mrs. Howard. Caillou felt terrible. At that moment, he thought he couldn't do anything right. Don't worry, Caillou, it's only mud. I'm sure everything will be fine. Now come on inside and we'll get you cleaned up. There. Better? Better. Only, I wish I was a better helper. Caillou, I'm surprised. You're a terrific helper. How? I spilled water, I knocked over your lamp, and I got your mail all muddy. Everyone has accidents, Caillou. Even me. The truth is, you've been a wonderful help. Now it was Caillou's turn to be surprised. How? Just knowing I can count on you for some good company and a few laughs is all the comfort and help I need. Really? Really. I like being your friend too, Mrs. Howard. So maybe you'd like to stick around this afternoon and play a game of cards with me? Yeah, I'm good at cards. Great! Whoa! <laughs> That was a close call, hmm? <laughs> oh! Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> that day, Caillou learned that giving his time is often the best way to help a friend in need. sit-ups. You'll be in great shape for the fun run this weekend. Yes, we will. Caillou could hardly wait. He and Daddy were going to run in the big charity race together. We're going to put the fun back in fun run. Right, kiddo? Yep, and I bet the winner gets a ribbon. Let's go for our practice run. Yeah! Look, it's Leo and his mom. Hi, Leo. Hi, Caillou. It seems we both had the same idea today. Going for a jog. Yeah, we signed up for the charity run on the weekend. We did too. Do you think the winner will get a ribbon? I don't know. But if they do, we'll get one for sure. We're really fast. Daddy and I are fast too. Right, Daddy? I think we'll win. It's not that kind of race, Caillou. Besides, when we run for charity, everybody wins. Who's charity? <laughs> it's not a who, it's a what. Charity is when you raise money to help others. Each runner pays to enter the fun run and all the money goes to the hospital. Oh, well, I still want to win a ribbon. <sighs> Phew. Come on, Daddy, how about some more push-ups? More? Uh-uh. Sorry, Caillou. I think that's enough training for one day. I'm hitting the showers. Ouch! Daddy! My ankle! Oh, my goodness! Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and stand. Ow! Ow, oh, I think my ankle's sprained. 
Caillou was upset about his daddy's ankle, but all he could think about was... What about the fun run? That's right, Rosie. Daddy's got a boo-boo. But not to worry. I just called Dr. Jackson at the hospital. She'll see us right away. We'll be leaving as soon as Grandpa shows up to watch you. Daddy, I hope your ankle feels better soon. Oh, thanks, kiddo. I... Like maybe this weekend, so we can still go to the fun run? Sweetheart, I think the fun run is the last thing on Daddy's mind now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Daddy. Caillou was waiting anxiously for Mommy and Daddy to return from the hospital. Ring around the... Rosie! A pocket full of posy. Hush-a, hush-a, we'll fall down! <laughs> Hi, kids. <sighs> I'm afraid Daddy's ankle is sprained. Boo-boo, but what about the fun run? I know you're disappointed, Caillou, but I can barely walk, let alone run. You'll have to take it easy for a few weeks, son. Dad, maybe you can run the fun run with Caillou. Oh, that sounds like fun. As long as it isn't today, I'm pooped. But, Daddy, Grandpa can't run fast. I've never seen him run at all. We'll never win. It's not about winning, Caillou. Besides, Grandpa might surprise you. Caillou was excited. It was the day of the big race. All of the runners were getting ready to run. All but Grandpa. I got your nose. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Ready to race for that ribbon? Uh, yeah. Good luck, Leo. Well, have fun, you two. We'll see you at the finish line. So, are you ready to run? Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to get your <laughs> nose when I get back. Yes, I am. <laughs> Caillou, wait up! Now this is going to be fun. Yeah, fun. Let's go! For? for us. But why? We're not going to win. Win? This isn't about winning. This is a charity race. Charity? I know, to help others. That's right. Did you know we're raising money for the same hospital Daddy went to when he hurt his ankle? Really? So running in the fun run helps people? Like Daddy? That's right. Now what do you say we put the fun in fun run? Okay. Hi there. Ooh, come on. Hey, Caillou, come on. Too. People cheered, and we got our picture taken. We even got frozen yogurt. You got frozen yogurt? Lucky! A ribbon? Yeah, we all get ribbons. That's because when you run for charity, everyone's a winner. Right, Grandpa? Right, Caillou. Come on! That day, Caillou felt proud. Running for charity meant doing something wonderful for others. The new 
new girl. This is going to be the best school trip ever. Today, Caillou is going to one of his favorite places, the Dinosaur Museum. Leo and I are going to be partners, and we have it all planned out. First, I get to sit by the window on the bus, and then Leo gets it on the way back. Then we're going to see who can name the most dinosaurs. And then we're going to see who can make the best dinosaur sounds. This is going to be the best school trip ever. I'm putting an extra box of raisins in your lunch. Just don't go feeding them to the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs don't eat raisins, Mommy. They eat plants and other dinosaurs. Roar! <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Remember, I get the window seat on the way to the museum, Leo. And I get it on the way back. Just so you know, I'm going to win our dinosaur roaring contest. I've been practicing for two whole days. Yeah? Well, I've been practicing all week. This is going to be the best school trip ever! All right, everyone. I'd like you all to say hello to Layla. This is Layla's first day at school. Hello, Layla! Because Layla doesn't know anyone here, I would like someone to be her partner for today's school trip. Caillou, you can be Layla's partner. That means we're not going to be partners, Caillou. All right, everyone remember the rules. Partners must hold hands and stay together at all times. And everyone must keep their place in line so no one gets lost. to get the window seat. Caillou wanted to be with his friend Leo instead of Layla. He realized Layla would rather be with a friend too, only she didn't have any friends at school because she was the new girl. Caillou remembered how he felt on his first day at school when he was a new boy. On my first day at school, I wanted to go home because I didn't know anyone. But then Leo said he would be my friend. Then everything was okay, and my first day at school was lots of fun. I'll be your friend, Layla. As soon as Caillou saw the dinosaurs, he wished he and Leo were together so they could play their dinosaur naming competition. Leo and I know all the dinosaur names. Oh! That's a brontosaurus. Wow. And that one's a T-Rex. And that one with the pointy things on its back is a Stegosaurus. Caillou was impressed that Layla knew the dinosaur names. He wondered if she could make dinosaur sounds like he and Leo could. I think the T-Rex must have sounded like this. Roar! Well, maybe, but I think it sounded more like this. <laughs> wow, that was even better than mine. <laughs> screech, screech, screech. <laughs> squeak, -aw, squeak, -aw, squeak. -aw. And that was even better than mine. <laughs> Screech! Layla, guess what kind of dinosaur I am? A Squealosaurus! <laughs> You're funny. 
<laughs> now you guess what I am. A dinosaur! <laughs> now you're a hiccupodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Roar! Roar! the window seat before. Now it's your turn, Caillou. Thanks! <sighs> Dinosaur, you're welcome. <laughs> As Caillou waited for Mommy to pick him up, he shared some of the things he'd learned at the museum. Okay, guess what I am? A dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny dinosaur joke, Caillou. Layla made it up. Well, Layla, what did you think of your first day at school? It was lots and lots of fun. It wasn't the best school trip ever, but it was still really, really good because I came back with a new friend. Yeah, Layla's funny. It was a good trip indeed. Caillou had made Layla feel very welcome on her first day at preschool. Mm -hmm.